Good day, peeps! Garfield here. Welcome to episode 26 of the Derby Way. We've got four games for you today. Uh, we start here at home against Charlton Athletic. And, uh, yep, the first team that will, will be on the field is exactly the same that was on the field for the Portsmouth game. It will be our first team moving forward for the foreseeable future, at least. Um, so yeah, we uh, without further ado, we'll get straight into this and we'll get into the action. All over. And there's Cox. Just about sneaks that through. Mendes Jr. gets the pass through. Here comes Allen. Plays it in short. Takes the shot. Oh, it's a good shot as well. It makes the keeper really work there. Abeledo plays it out. Here's Cox. Oh, beautiful ball. Here is Shaw now. Is it going to be one nil? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, good God, Jordan. What the friggin' hell was that? Oh, dear me. Rising. Rumour has it still rising now. Fence. And here come Charlton. Oh, I don't even think Mendes Jr. is going to catch up with him there. Oh, and the shot comes in. But uh, thankfully the post was there to deny him. Thank you, post. Jackson did well try and get in block him here is Wilson plays it in here's short tries to play it to Cox instead of fucking Allen because he's a fucking retard oh that's beautiful Allen plays it in here's short can't miss doesn't miss and uh, after being a bit of a tard for the most part of the match so far he's just not really been performing to standard but if you do give him a chance like that normally he does bury him not like that first effort he had but uh, yep it is 1-0 lovely pass from Ed a bit sweaty of course but uh, Jordan Shaw gets the goal it's 1-0 Charlton coming to look at it looking to come at us they have done well so far and uh, I think there was just enough pressure put on him there by Jackson to make him play that out. And uh, just as the half time whistle blows, it is 1 0. Uh, Shaw was the goal scorer. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can carry on and keep going from here in the second half. Oh, and uh, he's just been done. And Wilson's going to go and try and track back for this. I don't think he's the fastest player on the pitch. But uh, this Charlton player certainly seems like he is. Oh, that was a bit dangerous. VT caught out. Oh, and the shot came in from Veto Kelly. Fuck knows. But, uh, oh dear, that's a bad miss. A very bad miss. Should be 1 1. Wilson will play that out wide. Get fine, Martin. Here's Pereira. Plays it inside. Allen. Finds Cox and forces a save. And uh, sorry, I completely switched off. I was about to go mad at Ed for the wayward pass, but found its way through to Cox. Was going wide, but we've got a corner, so uh, we'll take this corner. Oh, and who was that trying to get up? I think it was White. Oh, White finds Pereira, and Pereira finds Allen brilliantly. Can he get the shot off? Oh, Ed! Uh, should have been two. Ah, uh, neg. Plays it in. Here's White. Can he do anything? Well, he's won the ball back. If that's uh, what we mean by anything, yeah. Here comes Cox. Turns it around. Gets the cross in. And, whoo, Fozu nearly put it into the back of his own net. Corner to come in. Jackson yes there is number two and uh, Jackson with a great big header he's really starting to prove his worth at corners now back end of last season he got a couple and uh, right at the beginning of this season he's got his first goal great corner delivery from Cox and what a header there's no stopping that header is the bang like Silic bang and the dirt is gone. It's 2 0. Come on, lads. Well done, Jamie. And uh, plays a brilliant ball through. Here is Ed. It's got to be three, surely. 
Tries to chip. Oh, he's put it over. Oh, is he still trying to find his feet here? But I don't know what the answer is. Should have been three. Um, sure, I'm just playing it around. Are they looking for the full time? Oh, hello. Pereira, where is he? Why, why are you sitting back so deep? Doesn't matter. It's full time. It's 2 0. And Alan should have scored at the end there. Uh, may have to cut his wages down. <laughs> Jokes. Or am I? Don't know. Well, we win 2 0. And we'll move on to the next match, which I believe is a simulation versus Shrewsbury. Well, we have had a transfer offer for Fonte, Fontana. Um, 800k they're offering and uh, that's a good offer but Fontana has been with us from day one and uh, he's our backup keeper and I really don't want to sell him so it's going to be a reject and transfer negotiations have broken down between Ward and Millwall it's a little bit of a shame because uh, I wouldn't mind shipping off Ward um, but he lives to be around for another day um, Blackburn are interested in taking Morgan Hughes off our hands. He is on the transfer list uh, after disappointing-ish pretty much last season. 680k they are offering. His value is 800. We might be able to get 780, so the assistant says. So we'll delegate that out and we'll see if we can get the 780. And another transfer offer for Mr. Allen. Middlesbrough want to buy him for 5.2 million. Take that 5.2 million and go shove it up your jacks. Well, Blackburn have agreed to meet the 780k for Morgan Hughes, uh, so this offer will be accepted and it will play our hand a little bit in the transfer market. It's monthly scouting update time and we're in South Africa looking for a winger and we're still in South Africa looking for a winger. All these will be rejected. And from Belgium for a physically strong player, we've come back with a defensive minded one in Xander Mercier. And he looks pretty damn tasty. That potential of 82 to 94. Scouted him for two months, but he's coming straight into that youth academy. Welcome aboard, sir. And as we look through the rest, well, that's a shame they're all crap. Uh, they're all going to be rejected. And finally, from Romania, looking for physically strong. And yeah, all those are pretty rubbish as well. No look in Romania this time. They'll all be rejected. Game two of the episode. And we are away at Shrewsbury. And this is the simulation game, obviously. Otherwise, we won't be simulating it. Uh, usual suspects on the pitch for the Rams. Um, looking through Shrewsbury's team. Oh, Chetri. Now, Chetri, I signed for Derby in the first season. Um... He was signed uh, just to keep the board sweet. He was one of those um, and he did a crucial player and he was there on the free agents. So uh, yeah, he's in the Shrewsbury team. Not that it matters because Allen has struck twice and uh, then Gnawa has scored for Shrewsbury. It ends 2-1 to the Rams. Fucking Dortmund have shown interest in buying Magnussen for a fee of 970k. Well, we know Magnussen hasn't been our best performer back end of last season and so far, although he did play pretty solidly in the uh, cup match. Uh, who was that one against again? That was against Morecambe, wasn't it? Yes, it was against Morecambe. Um, so let's have a look. That is just below his, uh, his valuation and they reckon we can get more so we're going to delegate this out and we're going to see if we can get the 1.5 million that they say we can get for him if we can he will be going to Dortmund why would you want him Dortmund and so we're back in the cup for game three and uh, we're away at Colchester the only stadium that you cannot fit the name uh, when you customize the stadiums um, and uh, yeah, we've got the reserves out again. They did ever so well against Morecambe in the last game, so I'm sort of hoping for the same. Um, this is away from home. And uh, yeah, well, I think we'll just get straight into the action if we can. Um, let's just have a look at what formation Colchester go with. Uh, we've got five at the back. We could struggle, but we'll give it our best go. Let's go into this and do it. And chip it over the top. Alexander will get in there 
Put it back inside. Roberts. Just about gets it off. Stewart will take the shot and it fizzes over the bar. Davis will head that back, but it wasn't didn't have a, the conviction needed on that to uh, get it all the way back to Fontana. But Fontana does a brilliant job to get to it before a Colchester man does. Looking to get a cross in, they get the cross in, and the cross comes in, and the uh, the striker's on the end of it. What an absolute bastard that was! Sort of out of nothing, Carlson was the man marking him, but well, I think it's one of those can't really take it away from him. It was a good goal, but uh, you know, unlucky Bowen. It was your side, wasn't it? Colchester just looking to annihilate us. Change my player to fucking P V Niemi. Fucking hell, I can't even fucking get the names right now. Yeah. And there's half time. Yeah, just targeting the bloody player that's offside all the time. But, uh, it's a shame that we're losing. We've Played, they played so well against Morecambe. I know Colchester are probably a slightly better team, but I don't know. It's been awful. Five at the back killers. Oh, well, second half can't get worse. All right, then, and off we go. Rafferty. I hate it when you start there. Oh, this is a nice play. Stewart plays it back to Rafferty. Roberts. Carter does well turns oh and there it is straight from the kickoff and Sam Carter will get his second goal of the competition and his second goal of the season so far and uh, brilliant brilliant stuff brilliant play um, oh here we go we'll see it now lovely pass in lovely touch to uh, pull it away from the defender and uh, rocket of a shot into the side netting Keeper didn't stand a chance there. And it is 1-1. We are back in this. Let's see if the second half is going to be our half now. We can come charging through the middle here. Plays it into Carter. Carter gets the shot off. Saved by the keeper. Cross comes in. Roberts. Davis. Oh, he took a shot, but uh, probably would have been better trying to look for a pass there. That's a lot of space out there, Davis. You've got a lot of leg work to do to catch up with him. And here come Colchester down that left-hand side. Fontana just about. Are you kidding me? Oh, thank God. That the hell happened there? It was just a right mess there, wasn't it? And uh, once again, Colchester come at us. Uh, we haven't got the legs now. Oh, and uh, that's surely a terrible foul on uh, Niemi, is it? Oh, and uh, yeah, we'll make that substitution. We'll bring Leon for his first game in the Derby colours. Corner now, Derby. We're late on. We can get a goal here. We can win this match. Uh, just no. Everything throw everything at it. Button, button bash that circle button. Alexander. Ah, oh, it's over the bar. Oh please, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Colchester attacking down that side. It's the same old cross again and again. We're punished from it. The ground cross that doesn't work for human players works fantastically well for the computer. And right at the death. After looking like we were going to push for that victory. Uh, well, we're out of the Carabao Cup. Let's put it that way. Well, we'll kick off, but I don't think there's enough time to do anything about this. Rafferty whips it through, but uh, Carter's offside, and he did put it into the back of the net just to add insult to injury. Right, a big kick forward after the offside. That's a foul on Carlson. No, oh, nothing given, but full time is given. And we go crashing out the Carabao Cup. And it's uh, a bit of a bit of pill to swallow that is because it was two 
bullshit crosses that you try you try to do a ground cross and they don't work yet we saw two examples of how it does work against you but never mind onwards and upwards we'll move on to the next game uh, which I believe is Wickham well Morgan Hughes has been sold to Blackburn um, 780k we've got 550 of that into our transfer budget and uh, Duncan Stewart he has attracted the attention of drug drug header United I don't know I always wanted to call him drug be United that's how I've always called him uh, but 140k he's not really in the plans he's been playing for the reserves but only because of um, a lack of numbers shall we say but all might be changing soon um, possibly after the Wickham match and so we're back at Pride Park for the fourth and the final game of this episode before transfer deadline day and this is actually on transfer deadline day and uh, as the table pops up there you'll see that we are currently undefeated and a perfect 100% uh, win rate in League 1 as we probably rightly should have um, yep yeah, we'll uh, probably much crack straight into this it's the uh, the standard uh, starting 11 as you'll see there and uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll jump straight into this let's uh, let's go do it so Alan will get us underway sure that comes out all the way to uh, Mendes Jr Wilson plays it inside here is short plays it through here's Ed Allen is it 1-0 it is straight from kickoff and uh, that's what we like to see that's what we like indeed brilliant uh, start to the game and uh, Ed making up for that uh, dreadful miss that he had at the end of the uh, was it uh, Charlton uh, the end of the Charlton game uh, did score two in the simulation against Shrewsbury if I remember rightly um, and yeah he's uh, he's back to goal scoring ways now on number 10 Ed Allen and we're just going to check yes it is it is his fourth of the season so far Abeledo plays it in his short just manages to rule out every opportunity that Twickham had to get there Allen oh great finesse goal and uh, he perhaps chimes in with goal five of the season and two for the game and uh, what a finish that was brilliant bit of play from Shaw to sort of hold up the ball Wilson feeds it through just cuts it back on his right foot finesse into the top corner how do you like them apples well Ed likes his beers 24 of them 2-0 two, no. 2 for Ed 2 for Darby let's keep going 5 for the season for Ed Allen uh, here's Cox plays it through here's Shaw now Allen, oh what a strike on his weak foot he hits that so hard and uh, that's a hat trick that is an actual hat trick already in the season uh, game four of the uh, of the season of the league and uh, Allen's already got a hat his first hat trick of the season probably his first of many if he carries on he's definitely picked up where he left off last season and he hit that with some real venom. Hattrick Hero. Goal six for the season. 3 0 to Derby County. Oh, and uh, here we go. Wickham are through here. And uh, oh, just couldn't defend it. Just completely ripped us apart there. Uh, 3 1. And. Uh, well, you probably deserved it. Well, in fact, no, you didn't deserve it. That's your first shot you've had, Wickham. It just so happened that uh, you just broke through our defence because we were attacking at the time. So, uh, yeah, fuck you. 3-1. Wilson plays it to Shaw. Knocks it back. Wilson will hit that. 4-1. What a hit, Toby Wilson. Well, 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 that's one way to respond to going down, getting a goal peg back against you. Great pass out to Shaw, he'd done well. Wait, it just the right amount of time, and whoa, pick that out, you motherfuckers. Yes, 
wasn't put off by that ugly shirt hit it hard hit it well there's no one getting on to that and toby wilson getting his first goal for derby and uh, it's 4-1 and it's not even half time yet oh martin does well intercepts really well there waiting for Pereira to make a run not quite doing it but uh, does eventually get there cross in and uh, it's out well and uh, it looks like it's going to be half time any, any second soon and there it is half time and it's 4-1 we have battered Wickham uh, they got a consolation goal it was sort of just out of nothing a big long ball uh, but a hat trick from Ed Allen and the first goal from Toby Wilson sees us winning 4-1 at half time oh and there we go Wickham can attack now and Martin has just got no legs left oh and it's hit the post and thankfully Mendes uh, Mendes Jr was quick enough on his toes thinking wise to uh, to clear it straight away and that's a terrible pass from Cox Cox wins it well finds Wilson in the middle Abeledo plays it through it was white to Pereira oh and he's missed oh for fuck's sake uh, Mono big old kick forward Alan tries to win that header to knock it on to Cox but uh, it's cut out and there is the full time whistle it ends 4-1 uh, second half was uh, very much sort of hit and miss there was a few good shots but uh, uh, it was uh, a bit boring um, but there you see Ed picking up his first ball of League One hat-trick hero we win 4-1 and uh, we'll go into deadline day now whoa so it is deadline day and um, now if we do manage to ship Ward off in this deadline day in these last 10 hours uh, Santana Abreu will be offered I will try and sign him um, as a replacement because he is pretty quick um, but for the immediate now two free agents uh, Leandro Freddy now pronounced that bit Martins um, we're going to try we're going to sign him up and uh, Christophe Diasse is also going to be signed in um, I will see you on the other end of negotiations well here we are end of negotiations for Freddy Martins that's what I'm going to be calling him is Freddy Martins deal with that um, he wants a wage of 3,700 this is not a problem we have plenty of wage and um, yeah three years on a rotation uh, squad role and uh, yep here we go welcome to the club Freddie Martins well um, I kind of buggered up there but uh, what I'll do is in the edit I'll keep the quiet bit in but yep we have now got Niasse as well and uh, yep I think that'll do for now we'll see what other dealings can happen on deadline day well we do have an agreement from Dortmund to pay 1.1 million for Magnussen um, we'll accept this and then we'll look if he does go in fact we'll probably start it going already but we'll look into a replacement for him uh, for a centre back role in the reserve team. Thank you, Magnuson. You've been a great service. I hope it all goes well at Dortmund. Duncan Stewart has left the club in the transfer window. Uh, deadline day uh, dealing. He has gone to Drogba United. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got four hours left of deadline day, and Wolves have come in with a big offer of 7.5 million for Red Allen. Now, I say there is no way we're going to be selling Ed anytime soon so obviously this offer will be rejected but I do find it quite interesting that they are increasing uh, quite rapid amounts as well at the moment but uh, yep no Ed will stay a ram transfer offer from Aston Villa for Jamie Jackson there's only two hours of deadline day um, and Magnussen still hasn't even agreed terms with Dortmund yet I don't know what he's messing around at but this one wouldn't even have time to go through if we thought about accepting it it's obviously a reject and uh, bugger off filler well one hour left of deadline day it looks like Magnuson will be staying at the club um, so 
just as well I didn't try and sign in anyone else to replace him even though we've got quite a few good players in the youth uh, academy which we'll just do a quick uh, new month report on but yeah one one hour left and nothing's going to happen there we go Magnuson's talks have broken down right transfer deadline day has ended right that's done and dusted so why does Scunthorpe come in on the day after deadline day with an offer for Taylor Cox um, 1.45 million uh, it's good uh, a good offer but uh, this guy this kid is uh, he's useful across the whole top really and uh, he's does an okay job for us so no fuck off Scunthorpe he's staying around and so we're into the new month and uh, we'll do this youth squad report and then we will wrap it up i'm sorry this has been another long one but uh, you know transfer window is now shut so now we can concentrate solely on getting the three games played and get through this season but first things first let's get this youth squad um, update done Gatsha Redebe, he is 72 to 88 so he has gone up from uh, from last month Tyler Hill, 91 to 94. Rob Jacobs, 76 to 94. Oscar Evans, 81 to 87. Mika Peltola, 89 to 94. He's looking very tasty. Max Alexander, 86 to 92. Another good player coming through. Connor Thomas, 83 to 94. Oh, six foot seven. He's going to be a superstar. Xander Mercier. Um, he only just recently came in, so uh, but his potential is 81 to 94. Charles Watson, 86 to 92, and uh, Bogdan Lupu, uh, 75 to 93. Hopefully that can uh, go up and stay towards the high end, because he's got a great name. Well, I know we're only four games into the season, but we do like to end our episodes looking at the league table. So here we go. Four out of four, we have started league life in League One fantastically well. Ed has been banging some goals in a hat-trick in the last game against Wickham. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, looking pretty good early on here. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching this episode. I'm sorry it's been longer than probably what you've been used to recently, but we have got the transfer window out of the way and the whole start of the season has been done in two episodes. So, you know, it's not uh, not too bad going. Um, but anyway, yes, thank you for watching. I have been Garfield. This has been episode 26 of the Derby Way. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, please hit subscribe. And until next time, friends, toodles!